Hi, good morning and good evening to everyone. Today in this video, I would like to share you something about the visa. So this will be the tutorial part one on the visa. So let's start with the introduction to visa. So what is a visa? Visa is like a virtual storage access method. So in mainframe data, in mainframe databases are divided into two types. That is a DB2 and another is called as a files. So Normally files will be of two types, uh, one is a flat files and another is a non-flat files. So for flat files we call it as a PS and for non-flat files it is divided into VSAM. For VSAMs are, what are the different kinds of VSAM we have is ESDS, KSDS, RRDS and LDS. So these are the different kinds of VSAM files we have. And uh, what is the importance of flat files and uh, where do we use these VSAM files? Yes, it is important to note when, what is the situation we have to use PS files and what is in which situation we will be using VSAM files. Flat files are mainly used to store data for backup. Yes, exactly. PS files, we, we mainly take a backup using PS files. Uh, either it can be a GDG base with uh, different generations or uh, simply a PS file. So, Next is user to, it is mainly used to transfer from WinPS to another PS, that is one, one flat file to another flat file. Okay, and uh, coming to VSAM, VSAM I can say it like it is an independent DB or a database. So which is mainly used to store large volume of data and it is mainly used for searching an information. That is it maintains master information. All the entire master information are stored on this and where from the master we retrieve the data and uh, use it respectively accordingly. So, so working with VSAMs, there are mainly three steps involved. That is uh, creating in a VSAM data sets, accessing VSAM data sets through bash process or accessing VSAM data sets through online process. So how do we create a VSAM data sets? All VSAM are, uh, data sets are created in the form of cluster. Cluster is nothing but it's a similar type of file. It contains three different components that is name component, data component and index component. What is name component? Name component is used to identify name of a data set and data component is used to store data. Index component is used to store index value. So that's this is this is about the introduction to VSAM. I would be coming up with more and more videos about the VSAM and we would like uh, we would discuss more details on the VSAM and how it is used in real time and what are the advantages we have using VSAM VSAM. Yes. So in the next video I would be coming up with uh, exactly how the data is stored in a VSAM or that is like a VSAM storage space and allocations and uh, are becoming uh, it would be going to explain about the cluster creation that is we have we saw like the different VSAM files like ESDS, KSDS, uh, RRDS and everything right so so we will be creating we will be looking into the more details on this so, uh, yes uh, thank you for watching this video if you like this video please kindly feel free to subscribe this video on the YouTube or share comment Thank you for watching. Have a great and wonderful day.